Welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue setting up our digital camera. Of course, this is a process that we really have to engage before we can uh, make serious use of this tool. So let's keep going. Metadata. Well, what's that? Well, metadata can be thought of as a sidecar is to a motorcycle with the bike being the picture itself and the sidecar being stuff that goes along with the picture. The picture is digital information, and what's in the sidecar is information about the picture. It's certainly not what the viewer sees when they look at the photograph, but that sidecar is always with the picture, hidden, and ready to be revealed with software such as Adobe Bridge. Well, what might we find there? Well, we might find the f-stop and the shutter speed. We might find the ISO. We might find the file size the dimensions of the picture, the bit depth, all sorts of information. And we might find more and more and more metadata information. Uh, we can tell whether the picture was made on manual or automatic or program or aperture priority, uh, things about the sensor, things about the lens. There's all sorts of information that can be recorded depending on the capabilities of your camera to give you that information, have it held there in that little sidecar. One of the things that's really important for you to do when setting up your digital camera is add some information that's specifically going to be part of that metadata that's going to be really important to you. First is the day and the time. Um, that's something that you just have to set with your camera. I've had students come in and make photographs and I've, I've looked at them in the next class and they say that they were made three years earlier and I say, what the heck, are, what's going on here? Well, they just never really adjusted their, their clock, so to speak. So you want to be sure to do that. And putting the date and the time is important. Sometimes with the Wi-Fi capable cameras, uh, the camera will actually change just like your computer will as you move from time zone to time zone. Another really essential bit of information to input to the camera when you set it up so that it's part of every picture's metadata is information about you and making your claim that what is yours is yours. In other words, it's copyrighted. This is where you input information about who the author of the picture is. The author is you and you're the person who holds the right to copy that picture and to authorize others to do the same. That's what copyright is all about. Second aspect that you want to set up is about you and what's yours. In other words, you're the author of the picture and you're the person who holds the copyright to that. You can use that picture any way you want and you can authorize others to use it as well. But they can't use it unless they have your authorization. They'll only know that and you'll only be able to prove that if it's part of the metadata. So you want to set that up and at a minimum, I strongly recommend that you place your name and copyright information in that metadata space when you set up the camera. That way it'll be part of every picture. You could also put contact information on some cameras, you get that capability as well. Now formatting the memory card. This is again something that we're going to do before we even go out and shoot any pictures. And uh, I've had some students in beginning photo classes come in and uh, I'll give them an assignment. They'll go out and come back in the next week and say, gee, you know, I, w I wanted to shoot more pictures, but I couldn't fit any more on my memory card. And I'll look at them and say, well, I know you didn't listen to the lesson that I gave on formatting your memory card. It's kind of scary. What it means is we are going to eliminate all the pictures that are on that memory card. Now, I know you can do that simply by hitting the garbage can symbol on the back of the camera and delete the pictures one at a time. And some people do that. In fact, I've had students come in with a memory card that's got pictures going back for years. And they just, when they run out of space, just delete one or two and then shoot a few more. That doesn't make any sense. Um, with formatting, we're going to completely wipe out all the pictures on the card, but we're also going to literally format it so that it synchronizes better with the camera we're formatting it in. This may be scary to you, and when you hit the buttons on your menu to go to the formatting section, 
it looks kind of scary. It says the format card, all data will be lost. Oh my gosh, with an exclamation mark. Don't worry about it. As long as you have downloaded your pictures, transferred them to a proper set of hard drives, and if you're following proper workflow, you'll already have properly copied photographs uh, elsewhere. You can wipe out that card and say goodbye to those pictures because you've already got them. And your card will work better with the camera you're using.